question seven, you have your log laws and you have this quadratic substitution question, which we'll get to. Praise be to Vika. Look, that's very good of them because if x was equal or greater than four, this wouldn't make sense. So they've been very good mathematicians putting in that restriction. Good to see. Let's simplify this. So we're subtracting two logs, which means we can divide these two quantities. So that's the same as saying uh, log base two of six minus x over four minus x equals two. Let's raise both sides to the power of two. We get six minus x on four minus x equals four. Let's multiply both sides by four minus x. It gives us six minus x equals 16 minus four x. Add four x to both sides. Six plus three x equals 16. Subtract six from both sides, three x equals 10. And then x equals 10 on three which is less than four. That's our answer. Part B, haven't seen one of these on an exam on for a good long time. Let's have a look. Let's get rid of this negative T here by multiplying everything by E to the power of T. That gives us three E to the power of two T equals five E to the T plus eight subtracting everything off and getting it onto one side gives us 3e e to the power of 2t minus 5e e to the t minus 8 equals 0. Let's make a substitution here. So we're going to let e to the t equal a. That leaves us with 3a squared minus 5a minus 8 equals 0. Look at that, they're always sneaky, they always slip in a non-monic quadratic there for you to solve. They never say it explicitly, but they expect you to be able to solve these. So use your favourite method. Looking at this, you should figure out that you get 3a minus 8 and a plus 1 as your brackets equals 0. And let's solve for a. So a equals 8 thirds or a equals negative 1. Now this negative 1 doesn't work at all, does it? That can't really that can't really do the trick because it's not going to work when we sub it in over here. So just reject that. You can't have the natural log of a negative. So putting this into there, we get e to the power of t equals 8 on 3. Therefore, t equals the natural log of eight thirds. And that should be your answer.